how often have you had a list like this come in where you've got the name, first name, last name, and you need to split them into separate cells? Well, you can do that. There are text functions built into Excel to allow you to do that, and we're going to take a look at how to do that. First up, I just want to point out that this is Excel 2003. I do actually also have it here in Excel 2010, which works very similarly to 2007, so what I show you here is exactly the same. I'm just going to go back to Excel 2003. I'm going to show you how to get started here, but then also we'll finish it off by actually just doing this in Excel 2010, but everything works exactly the same way. What I need to do is extract that first bit there, and you can see each of the first names are a different length. So what I need to do is establish at what point there's spaces here, and there is actually a function to do that called find. And I can tell it to find that space, and it will tell me where it is. I can then use a function called left, which takes the characters from the left-hand side, and you specify how many there are from the left-hand side. And you will now know that because you'll know where the space is. Let's just take a little look at doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into here the uh, where the space occurs. So you probably realize that this is great from the point of view if there is only one space in there, but if there's more than one, then you're going to have to do something else. So just to get it started, I click on Insert Function. There's your dialog box. You click on this drop-down box here. You'll see it's got text as one of the categories, and that's where we're going to find all the functions we need. And there are a number of them here. The first one I'm going to do is use this one here called Find. So I'm going to click on Find, click on OK. What text do I want to find? Well, it's the space. I'm just going to press Space. I could have put it in quotes, but it's actually going to do that for me when I click over here. I'm then going to click over here on this one here because it's looking within this text and you see it's got Gary Schwartz there and it's also got the space here. it's telling me number five that's actually correct you can see one two three four five the start number which you don't have to fill in because it's not in bold here is if you don't want to start from the first character you want to start from further along and there may be instances where you want to do that so if I click on OK I drag that down and you'll see it's doing the same for each of those Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to Excel 2010. I'm going to do exactly the same here. But so for some of you that are already using this, this will look a little bit familiar. What I need to do here is I can, again, just click on my insert function, just here. I can also find it under formulas, and you'll see there is actually a text category right here. If I click on this button, it's the same as doing it in Excel 2003 and 2007. I'm actually going to just do it here. I'm just going to hit Find. And again, it's the space. What's the text? It's that one there. Click on OK. Copy it down. And it's done exactly the same. OK. For some of you that don't know, I copy that down just by moving to the bottom right-hand corner, where it becomes like a plus sign, and drag it down. It's known as Autofill. So to get the first name here, what I want to do now is count across how many characters here that I need to take from the left hand side. If I was to click on this text one here and if you were to use this button here, if I just show you, I'm going to do it both ways. There's one called left. Okay, the text that I want to get from the left hand side is this one here. The number of characters from the left hand side, you could put it in. You'll see that if I type in 4, it comes up with Gary here and here. But I want it to work it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to take this cell here. It's four characters. It's actually the space minus one. So I'm just going to subtract one there. You see it comes up with Gary. Click on OK. Drag that down. And you see it has extracted each one of those. Dead simple. How do I get the same thing from the right hand side. Well for this I also need to know the total length of the name as well. And for that it's going to add in another column here. Bear in mind this does work exactly the same for 2003. 
you would just click on this button here. There is actually a function called len for length. Click on OK. There's only one thing to fill in here. Select the cell I want. It's telling me that I have 13 characters, including the space in my name. OK, so if there was a function called left here, there is also another one called right, which asks me how many characters from the right-hand side I want to take. Click on this list, or go into my insert function over here. Choose right. The text is this one here. The number of characters from the right-hand side is actually the total length minus the space. So I just click on that, minus that, click on OK, and drag that down. And there you have it. I could have combined all of that into one function. So let me just call this one here combined, so that it's all in one cell. They call this nesting functions, just so that you can see how it works. What I'm going to do is combine them all together. So I'm going to start off by getting the right function here. Click on OK. The text that I'm actually after is this one here. The number of characters before I chose these two here. But what I'm actually going to do is pop in my function. And I know what my function is, and you can go back and have a look at each one of them in the cells to see what they look like, and you could just copy and paste them. So I could take len a2 minus find, I need to put in the quotes this time, 2, and this will now put it all into the same cell. So that's nesting them together. As I said, it works in 2003 as well. Now you can sort. That's one of the reasons why you might want to extract the last name from here and also the first name. You may need to do some analysis. It may not be names that you want to find. It could be something else. You could find commas, a comma and a space, hyphens, whatever you like. So there's the find function. You've got the left and right functions. You've got the length function as well. So that's how you can extract information out of a cell.